Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Rose, and today we have a $500 gaming PC build guide coming your way. And what we're featuring is a good deal on a used GPU, the 5500 XT, and a platform that is getting much cheaper with AM5 on the market. But before we dive into this build guide, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ProtoArc and their EKM01 keyboard and mouse combo. The EKM01 is an ergonomic Bluetooth mouse and keyboard combo. The keyboard has a curved split key frame design with scooped keys to offer ideal ergonomics, while the cushioned memory foam palm rest provides maximum comfort. The mouse has an ergonomic design with comfort in mind. The sculpted shape has a thumb rest and palm support to keep your hand in a natural position to reduce wrist strain. If you're interested in using products that are built to maximize your workflow, check the link in the video description, and big thanks again to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video. So the 5500 is a six core 12 thread, and it's $100 right now, and these used to be you know, a little bit closer to the $200 mark and you used to only have the 5600X and yeah, it was pretty expensive. But now you get these B450s really cheap or B550 if you wanna have a little bit newer. And of course, $100 in that process is kind of a no brainer. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about this build guide. And of course, in Toasted Bros fashion, we're gonna dive into some games that this thing can run on and really pushes things to its limits to just show you how good this $500 PC build can be for 2022 going into 2023. Let's talk about each part. So first off, we have the Ryzen 5 5500. This is a six core 12 thread. That's a little bit more of a recent release and it's basically like a budget 5600X. It doesn't have Gen 4 support, but if you're using a B450 and this process, you probably don't really care about Gen 4 support anyways. Now for the motherboard, we have this MSI B450A Pro Max. So this is a great motherboard. And as you can see here, it's 3000 ready. Will it be 5000 ready? That's kind of the gamble we're taking. We definitely saved some money going on this full size B450 because full size B550s can definitely be well over like the 130, $140 mark right now. So, you know, if you want to save some money, take a little bit of a risk, then definitely do so. We, we're pretty lucky though. We have extra CPUs in the back that we can use to flash if needed. Now, of course, this is Ryzen. So we had to go with some decently fast DDR4 RAM. This is a 16 gig kit of Oli RAM and that is 3600 megahertz and it's two by eight. So you're getting dual chain, you're getting a fast speed. You're getting some good cheap budget RAM. And now for the NVMe SSD, we have this Crucial P2 500 gig SSD and these things are lightning fast. It's crucial, it's an absolute great brand. And right now these things are going for under $40, which is really a no brainer for an NVMe SSD. Now for the GPU, we actually made a dedicated benchmark video on this. If you haven't seen that video, hit the eye in the top right corner. This is the MSI Mech. RX 5500 XT. Now the time recording this video, AMD cards are plummeting in prices. And this card right here nowadays goes for about $120, $130. You could spend a little bit more if you want to go to like a $600 build guide and even get like an RX 6600, which would, would be a substantial upgrade over this. But at the time of playing this video, this was like one of the best $100 to $130 used GPUs on the market. And during our benchmark run that we did, we were very impressed with the performance and I'm excited to see how it pairs well with the Ryzen 5 5500. Now for the power supply. Look, it's all reflective. Jackson's seeing a bunch of reflections here. We have the good old Old EVGA 610 BP. We use EVGA power supplies in a lot of PC builds here on the channel. We really can't complain too much about it. 600 watts is kind of overkill, honestly, for this build. You probably get away with 500 watts if you wanted to, but I imagine with a platform like this, you're probably gonna be upgrading in the future to a better GPU. So you know what? Might as well get the extra wattage out of the gate. Now for the case, big shout out to Fractal Design for sending this over. This is their Focus 2, which is a budget case that features some RGB and comes in at about $70. Um, this was the main reason we went with a full-size motherboard. If you are using like a micro ATX case, you can save some money there and get like a micro ATX B450 or B550. But since we have a full-size case here, we went that full-size B450 route. And uh, yeah, got some good ventilation up front. And for $70, getting a case from Fractal Design, I don't think you really complain, especially that we can actually fit this case in a $500 budget. So yeah, I'm very excited to put this thing together and see how she performs in the latest and greatest titles. Well, we're playing Modern Warfare and we're on the basic preset, 1080p. That's a thing now, basic. You know, it's no longer like low, it's basic. 
And I'm gonna try sniping, and this did not go well for me last time, so I'm probably gonna like rage and switch to a weapon. Yeah, with this game, it really does vary map to map what the performance is like. On this one, we're getting 100 plus FPS, so obviously you can run the higher settings if you want to. Oh! Oh! oh. You might see Jackson hit some of these snipes in the future. As I have not had time to practice. I'm... Oh, there you go. Come back, baby. In. Oh, here we go. Someone else peek. Come on. One more. See if I can sneak around back to that. Yeah. I just missed the free time. Oh, and he was behind you. Oh, oh that worked. Oh, he, he got That's you. I got killed by the hottest pockets. Yeah. Oh, oh. man. It runs good though. I mean, you could obviously run higher settings, make it look prettier, but mm -hmm. we went for the basic approach here and get 100 plus FPS on this map, so can't complain there. Let's play everyone's favorite, Fortnite. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in Fortnite, and these are the settings we're working with. We are on performance settings, and uh, yeah, we're doing okay. Um, when we did benchmark this 5500 XT, we were noticing that it didn't perform great um, in Fortnite, especially on performance settings, mainly because AMD GPUs on performance settings don't do nearly as good as the video ones in Fortnite. I don't really know, but we're at least getting 60 plus FPS. We'll see what it's like when we land. Um, but you might want to run like DX12 if you're going to use the 5500 XT. You might get better performance, but normally when performance settings are running a little bit lower than usual, um, it, it just kind of is what it is. And uh, you might just have to deal with the fact that Fortnite is very inconsistent. And every single time we test it, it's very inconsistent. So we'll see how it holds up when we land here. Okay, still in the, yeah, 60s and 70s. Not the greatest performance, I'll be totally honest with you, but for 500 bucks, can't complain too much. I think you can build. Okay, I don't think you ever moved from that spot. I think you built a wall and then that was about it. Not, not, not the greatest uh, gameplay, I'll be honest with you. Ah! 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 Oh, no! Kevin Rumble oh, Rum. Kevin Rum got me too good with the, the blop blop. Yeah, Fortnite's really weird. I don't know. Um, the performance is hit or miss, especially with AMD hardware. So, you know, your mileage may vary. You might actually get better performance with some other update that might come out. But, yeah, that, that that's Fortnite for you, ladies and gentlemen. And what we're going to go ahead and do is run a series of built-in benchmarks, uh, some higher-end games that will really stress this thing to its limits, and then we'll just wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done with this $500 gaming PC. We benchmarked it, we built it, and overall, we think it looks pretty good. You know, we don't have the power supply basement. That's the one kind of like downside with this case, but we still made it look really good. So you definitely could too at home. And the PC itself performed really well. You got a decent upgrade path here. The 5500 XT, we kind of mark it as more of like a starter graphics card. You know, it's great for getting into your esports. You can play some AAA titles at lower settings, as you can see with Call of Duty, but down the road, you definitely could upgrade all of these parts very easily. And yeah, the Focus 2 is a pretty cool case. The main reason we built it is because our friends over Fractal Design was not have to send it over. And uh, yeah, if we had to give one piece of criticism to this case, it would be the no power supply basement. That is kind of a feature we do expect. But if you do want to save some money and get like a micro ATX board and maybe pick up some other micro ATX case, we'll try to leave some ultra suggestions down below because for our build guys, we'll have to give you some other options to make the build yours and customize it however you like. But overall, I think this pairing of the 5500 XC and 5500, funny names here, actually works out very well. And you should use those links in the description down below to build one yourself. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other TV YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So this gaming PC right here that has been fully benchmarked, tested, Windows 10 already pre-installed and ready to go with the one year warranty, which comes in all of our systems over at PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech, we sell awesome gaming PCs, awesome gaming laptops, and even full setups if you come in person. And if you use code TOASTBROS2 on checkout or in store, you can save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.